Okay. Uh, hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I believe you're doing great. This evening I want to uh, uh, respond to some questions really quick. I had people uh, messaging me uh, about some things to do with karate and uh, I think this is the time that I'm supposed to be um, answering them then they they going to learn from it and you also will not ask any question you're going to ask, I mean, learn from it. And I encourage you that you keep on uh, you know, asking questions because uh, I'm here, that's, that's why we have this group together. I'm here so that I can respond to those questions and uh, you know, uh, I've been spending my time uh, studying karate and uh, doing practices and uh, you know, I believe uh, uh, I have most of the answers that you will ask most of the answers I have, I have them, um, you know, we can learn together. Uh, I've been uh, reading some books. Uh, yesterday I was reading a book about, uh, you know, uh, exist to inspire martial arts. So the, 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 the main idea of ego karate is it, its existence is to make people, you know, uh, get inspired. So. Uh, that's why we are here. So, thank you very much for your questions. I'm here to answer uh, answer those questions. I have got uh, a list of uh, three questions here. The first question is, uh, uh, Hey, Mr. Instructor, how can I know karate? I think I'm old for that. Who told you, like, age matters in karate? Age doesn't matter. Age does not matter. So, if you think, like, your age limits you from doing karate or doing something, then that is a wrong perspective or wrong opinion like uh, you're being uh, uh, judgmental to yourself so nobody is limited even gender karate doesn't uh, recognize gender and I would, I would reframe this question like uh, you know i'm old for karate somebody said i'm old for that i would ask this person i didn't ask but i would ask like uh, it, it means you're saying like you are old to be robbed or you are old to to meet bad people along the way or you are old to be you know um, stolen from so you can't say you're old because whether you're old or not somebody won't recognize that they won't know that they will come someone who is hungry with what you have they will come and snatch it from you and then last time I was watching a video from uh, uh, within our uh, Kenya karate group that was created and uh, you know somebody you in like a certain video of uh, a bunch of people thugs coming to you know uh, terrorize one single person he had nothing to do at all like they kind of gave, gave him a, you know a choke in the neck and then they were searching him and took everything and then when he was left free what he did <laughs> he ran away so this is something that uh, you know as a karateka you have to know your environment who is within the the base you're operating in. Survey, I mean, understand your environment better and know each and every person. Your enemy could be just next to you. So don't just walk aimlessly and carelessly. So that's a lesson well learned. I, I mean, I think sometimes I'm going to upload that video so people can see that. So I'm going to, uh, this is something that I've just asked, I mean, answered. Um, how can I, you know, Hey instructor, how can I know karate? I think I'm old for that. So you're not old for that. Number two, the second question. Some of these questions I'll answer them by demonstrating. So the the second question is, uh, hello sir, I don't know how to split. Can I still know karate? Now who told you like splitting is the way of knowing karate? Many people I have got my students. Many people have met. They don't know how to. In fact. Some people can split this much, this much, and then when reaching here, they like oh, oh, but they still do well. They perform. An example is my captain, Victor. He's a crazy karateka. He does not know how to split, and many others. And I'm proud of him, you know. So, and he does it correctly. I mean, he, he does karate. I mean, he's. A crazy purple belt guy. Number three, I'm going to demonstrate that. Number three, 
demonstrate my washigiri please somebody wants me to demonstrate my washigiri like okay there are two key things that you have to know in my washigiri the first one the defensive part of it the second one the offensive part of it how do you attack with my washigiri how do you defend yourself with my washigiri both are two different approaches but one technique so we are going to see that so i will start by uh, question number two which needs a practical demonstration for answering uh, so i don't know how to split can i still know karate let me tell you something for you to do karate or for you to train just in, in, in any other game or any other sport you have to be fit i mean you have to be ready for uh, you know training you have to prepare your joints your muscles your bones and get prepared psychologically for training you can't just wake up or come from home and then you start <laughs> <laughs> nothing like that that's why you find many people when they throw kicks they're like you know when you do that it's like you're giving yourself a physical torture which will not be the case so i'm going to answer the second question that uh, i don't know how to split can i still know karate you can know karate karate is not a respect of any split or is not a respect of any technique karate comes from the spirit and then mind and then body so the spirit is in the blood you have to get that that wake up call i want to do i want to know this thing like it is passion so that spirit comes within you every single time you feel like uh, i need to throw some punches i need to throw some kicks you know when you do all those like just know this thing is in your blood and that is the spirit that we are looking for like pressing forward so the blood and the spirit are one in in cooperation they cooperate so blood and, and spirit speak the same thing they they agree like, like let's do this let's do this and then so your blood will communicate with your spirit and then your spirit will communicate with your mind once you have the spirit the mind will be ready to do anything that the spirits have so your mind will be like okay this is what i want i'm passionate about this i'm passionate about this and then after that we have uh, the brain now will convey the same same information but now in a very elaborate manner to your body so your body will be like oh your brain wants you to kick this leaf for example or oh, i have this here your brain wants you to kick your body must be in a position to kick this thing because when your when your mind wants something and your body cannot do that and then it, you just see it and then you want to you want to target or you want to reach it you will feel pain in your physical body so to answer that you can split to the maximum to, to your level don't feel pain for no good reason but you have also to know that no pain no gain you must endure pain if you want to gain something so for those who want to split this is how you are going to start doing it. You have to ensure that you warm up for your split. Warm up for your split. So like now I'm warming up. So I'm preparing my joints, uh, my pelvic joints and uh, you know, my hip joints, stuff like that, and then my muscles as well. So they are getting ready for that physical cohesion or you know, uh, they are in agreement with each other. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. the same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two. Excuse me. 
hot here. So let's do a side split. Uh oh. My God. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Change the side. 